What's going on everyone? This is called The Solution. It's in The Solution to Fitness and today I'll be talking about what's healthy to eat at Applebee's. I'm gonna create a playlist soon with these kind of videos, but uh, I've done a what's healthy to eat type video for McDonald's and I've done it for Wendy's. So um, this will be the first time that I'll be doing a place that isn't a fast food joint. So check those out if you haven't already, but bear in mind this video will be a little more difficult to do. It's probably gonna be a little longer too because the Applebee's menu is a lot larger than those. So this required a lot of a lot of studying when it comes to the nutrition facts. None of which the useless Applebee's app helped me with. That app was totally useless. Uh, the only thing it's good for is finding locations, which I can just do myself on Google. Applebee's, I don't care about the stupid calories. I want the specifics. Luckily, the Applebee's website was a little bit more specific when it comes to the nutrition label of these meals. So keep also keep that in mind that I'm basing my information in this video on the facts that they give. So since the information is provided by them, it's up to you if you want to believe it or not. And just so you guys are aware, do you know how hard it is? Do you know how difficult it is to go through this menu while you're dieting? It is, it is unbearable, <laughs> right? So if you appreciate the pain that I put myself through for your love, then do not be afraid to bench that subscribe button and squat that like button for videos, for more videos such as this. Another thing you have to be aware of is that Applebee's salts the hell out of their foods. So what I'm gonna be focusing on is foods that you can customize yourself and foods that have less sodium than other foods on the menu. So is it still bad? Yes, but not that bad when having it once in a while which is the main purpose of these type of videos. And unfortunately, no appetizers on this list. I could not find any appetizers that were near acceptable for you to have. So I know you guys love those half price appetizers, but you're gonna have to scrape it off the list. Pretty much the only foods that are pretty semi-healthy are the foods that are grilled, baked, broiled, or steamed. So with all that being said, let's get right into some healthy meals you can have at Applebee's. So let's start with the beef options. These six ounce top row and steak. There's different sizes of steaks, so these facts will focus on the six ounce sirloin. So you have here only nine grams of fat and two grams of carbs with 34 grams of protein, which is one of the highest on this list. You may notice the amount of sodium it contains, which is around 1,450 milligrams. This is actually only 850 milligrams from your daily recommended intake in one meal. Well, it's time to customize. You have the option to have this steak without any seasoning as most other items on this list. This should cut your sodium intake tremendously, though no matter how much I looked into it, I cannot find anything close to what the facts would look like if we took it out. Applebee's is not very descriptive, I guess you can say, with their nutrition facts, but we can assume that the sodium will be significantly lower. Anyways, you get two sides. The only healthy sides I can find is a baked potato, of course with no butter or sour cream, steamed broccoli, green beans, fire grilled vegetables, all with no butter or salt, and garlic mashed potatoes. These are the only sides you're allowed to have. Next, we have the pepper crusted sirloin with whole grains. Once again, I'm going to mention to tell the server to hold off on the salt. Actually going forward here, can we can we establish that unless stated otherwise, with every option I'm gonna mention here, just assume that you'll be excluding the salt. Or else I'm just gonna keep saying no salt here, no salt there. Got it? Good. Okay, so back to the pepper crusted sirloin. So with this one, you're not only getting a good amount of protein, iron, and low fat, you're getting it with spinach, roasted portobellos, and grape tomatoes, which will give it a good antioxidant boost. Also, inform the server you'd like to have the broth served on the side so you can choose how much you want to use. Another fairly decent steak on the menu is the Bourbon Street Steak. You get a really good amount of protein. Carbs, fats, and sodium are okay levels. 
Saturated fat is a little higher than I'd like it to be, but this is probably the third best recommended steak I'd refer to you. Other steaks on the menu dip into the really high sodium and fat territory. You're definitely not allowed to have the garlic butter with this, so we'll leave that out. But they serve it with mushrooms, onions, and red potatoes, which helps give it some dietary fiber and potassium. I prefer it though if you tell them not to season the vegetables, then this meal becomes acceptable. So what's up with their seafood? Well, let's get into that, shall we? You have the cedar salmon without maple mustard glaze. This comes with two sides, which I already mentioned are the best options, and we should all know that not only do you get a good amount of protein with salmon, which is around 38 grams, but you also have omega-3 fats. This one is a little tricky because you can say to leave out the salt, but that's not counting the sodium from the sauces, which most of the sodium content is gonna come from. So be sure, just like the broth in the last one, to have the sauces on the side so you can choose how much to have. Most of the sodium comes from this. And you better only put like a tablespoon. Take it easy. Next is the Thai trim salad. This one isn't too bad if you decide you don't want to customize it. So you get 12 grams of protein, 9 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and 810 milligrams of sodium, which is a lot lower than a lot of other options on the Applebee's menu that can actually fill you up. But if you decide you do want to customize and lower the sodium, you have the chili lime and fresh cilantro there to give it flavor. It also has almonds, which is also a major plus. Also, just in case it's not included, make sure you're having it with edamames to help boost that protein. You'll have to drop the wonton strips though, as well as the peanut sauce, or just have it on the side. So let's get into the chicken options, and never fear, there's a lot of those. First, we have the normal grilled chicken breast. You get an awesome amount of protein with 38 grams, only 4 grams of fat and 2 grams of carbs, and you get two sides. Pretty simple meal. Then we have the fire roasted chicken salad wrap. Some fairly decent facts that you don't have to alter too much. There's 18 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs, and 23 grams of fat. 890 milligrams is decent by Applebee's standards, but it's wrapped with veggies and lime juice and go light on the sriracha sauce. Sriracha sauce isn't too bad, but you don't want to overdo it. Then you have the half grilled chicken Caesar salad. There's actually two ways I recommend ordering this. You can have, you can get like half, like I just stated, the half grilled chicken Caesar salad. So 450 milligrams of sodium, 10 grams of fat. Unfortunately, protein is also cut at around 11 grams. Or option two, have it whole, but cut out the dressing. This will lower the fat and sodium while also keeping the protein up. There's also secret option number three, to have half and without dressing. But I don't know if y'all are ready for that commitment yet, but that will probably be the healthiest thing you can get at Applebee's. You can also get the Oriental Grilled Chicken Salad. Do not get this confused with the Oriental Chicken Salad. That's fried chicken. This is the Oriental Grilled Chicken Salad. Their facts do differ a lot. That one literally has almost 100 grams of fat. This full size has far less sodium in it, and even though it has less fat than a full size of the grilled chicken Caesar salad, it still has a lot and it's got less protein. But overall, it's still a bit healthier and they throw toasted almonds in this one as well. You could opt to have the dressing on the side. What I find puzzling is that Applebee's didn't post the potassium count, which I think this has a really good amount of. It has a little over 1,100 milligrams. So let's see some add-ons that are fairly healthy. The grilled shrimp skewer has 8 grams of protein and only 10 grams of fat and 1 gram of carbs. It contains around 490 milligrams of sodium, which isn't too bad either. A house salad with bacon also isn't that bad. That gives you 10 grams of protein, 12 grams of fat, and only 11 grams of carbs with 340 milligrams of sodium. These facts are, of course, with no dressing. A regular house salad is even lower in calories. The kids have some pretty good sides themselves. I'd recommend the apple dippers with yogurt or the vanilla yogurt with strawberries. If you got your kids eating like that, at that early an age, you know, like not giving them the fries and the chicken strips, 
you the real awesome parent here. Drinks, obviously I'm not going to recommend any of the overly sugary drinks, but they do offer some fairly decent ones besides water. I recommend the brewed iced tea, hot tea, and unsweetened iced tea, and with maybe one sugar packet. The secondary drinks I'd recommend that aren't too sugary if you really gotta have that flavored drink is the flavored iced teas. Those drinks are usually between 8 and 10 grams of sugar, but the same cannot be said for the flavored lemonades. Steer clear from those. Massive amount of sugar and carbs. Half and half iced tea and lemonade isn't too bad. That usually reaches around 11 grams of carbs and sugar. They also have something called Sobe Life Water. Or is it Sobe? Sobe or Sobe Life Water? I don't know. Uh, you get it. Just look at it. S-O-B-E. And I'm too lazy to go check the pronunciation. But um, this is pomegranate flavor and that's also a pretty good option. Alright guys, that was my healthiest options that you can get at Applebee's. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you felt this information helpful, if you felt that you're going to try some of these menu items out, or if you've tried them already, or want to add something else to the menu, just leave it in the comment section. And yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to bench that subscribe button if you appreciated this information. It wasn't easy to do this. And squat that like button. Share the video around if you like and spread the word out on the channel. It helps this channel out a lot. Trust me. Once again, this is called The Solution Saying If you got a problem, I'll help you solve it. Your oysters are done and your best as yet to come. Mm.